Storytime with Stacy. I'm Stacy. I'm just playing with my stuffed bull. Isn't he neat? He's got two horns on his head. He's got a tail and it's a little fuzzy. Do you know what bulls and cows use those their tails for? I always see them swatting flies with them when I've seen cows. Do you know where uh, bulls and cows usually live? Yeah, they usually live on a farm. So I'm going to set my bowl. Hello. Hi. I'm going to set him over here so he can listen to the story with us. And the story we're going to be reading today. Oh, my gosh. Wait till you check this out. It's called One Tomato, a Garden Counting Book. Now, you may be wondering... Why are we talking about a garden and a counting book? Now, do you know where vegetables usually grow if they don't grow in your own little garden at home? Yeah, they usually come from a farm. And do you know how to count? Well, if you do or you don't, you're going to get some good practice in this book. So why don't you go ahead and get settled and we'll get started. So are you ready? Me too. Let's start reading. One Tomato, a Garden Counting Book by Rebecca Mullen and Anna Mullen. Picking our garden is so much fun. One ripe tomato, juicy and done. Two cucumbers tucked in their garden bed. Three peppers colored yellow, green, and red. Four orange pumpkins ready to burst. Pick the biggest and ripest first. Five potatoes pulled from below ground. where six orange carrots can also be found. On a stalk, seven Brussels sprouts cling. Watch out for bumblebees that sting. Eight green beans hang from a vine. Deep purple eggplants make nine. Ten ears of sweet corn and all, we picked a bountiful haul. Now that we've picked from one to ten, we water and weed until we pick again. And now wasn't that just such a fun book? I had so much fun learning how to count with all these really tasty looking vegetables. These were some great pictures too in here, weren't they? Yeah. And now what's your favorite vegetable to eat? Yeah, just let me know in the, in a comment below, okay? Because mine, I think I love tomatoes. I love cucumbers. I think I love all the vegetables that they had in here. Yeah. I even love broccoli. They didn't talk about broccoli in here, but I love broccoli. And to keep counting and to keep practicing and learning how to count, check this out. In the description below, I have a link to this really super fun counting sheet. Isn't that neat? So what you're going to do is you're going to count the vegetables and then in these little boxes, you're going to write how many of each there are. 
Yeah, so ask a parent if it's okay if you can download this and practice your counting even more. And then if you're wondering where you can get your very own copy of this book, I have a link in the description below where you can go ahead and get your very own copy. Just ask a parent, okay? Because they're going to have to help you do that. And I also have a link to the author's Instagram page too, so you can check her out as well. Yeah. And I just want to thank you so much for reading with me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do by hitting the subscribe button. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. And I just wanted to let you know that moving forward, I am going to be reading indie publishers and self-publishers only, okay? So you're going to be discovering brand new, awesome authors. I'm so excited about it. And if you are a self-published author, you can go ahead and follow the link to my Instagram page. I should have it in the banner above. And you can contact me and tell me all about your story. And on that note, I'm going to leave you. And I look forward to reading with you again soon. Bye.